Greetings, and thank you for joining me here at the Goulet Pen Company. My name is Drew, and maybe you have seen this pen. This is a Twisby Swipe. But you know who hasn't seen this pen? Me! So, this is 100% my first impression of the Twisby Swipe. This white thing is new for Twisby. I'm seeing some, some adhesiveness here, so we're going to go ahead and peel that off. Boom, that comes off relatively easy. <laughs> That is a lot of stuff. Okay. We've got a little clicky, clicky case here. Let's investigate this bag. Open the bag. And stuff. Oh, my God. All right. So, we've got a cartridge. I know what this is. However, this is a, <laughs> this is a big cartridge. This is not a normal-sized cartridge. Got some PR, got some PR cartridges here. It's serious. Oh, my God. They're going everywhere. Okay, here we go. This is a regular cartridge. This is a Twisby cartridge. My God. Fit-wise, you're looking at the same sort of situation here. These are both going to fit the same pens. However, good lord, I mean, this is like twice the size, maybe more. That is going to fit a whole lot more ink. Also, if you've got a pen that only takes the standard international, yeah, standard international short cartridges like this guy here, it might not take the big kahuna. So Twisby has made their own cartridge. And here we have... A Twisby converter. Yes, folks, this is a converter pen. Um, one of Twisby's first. Look at this, though. This converter is a double-walled piston converter. This is not something you see on most converters. This looks a lot like the piston gasket that's in their pens. It's got a double wall, so this thing is going to really do its job. We're going back to the box here. We've got the pen itself, and then, all right, here we go. Optional use with cartridge, not needed during normal use. I guess they're talking about the spring. Oh, arrow. Yep, see? That. The spring is optional, not needed during normal use. Spring adds extra security for maximum engagement of cartridge during extreme movements. <gasps> Are you doing extreme movements with your pen? This pen is ready for your extreme movements, whatever they may be. Okay, hold on. Do we, do we see a flap? Do you see a flap? I don't see a flap. Okay, no, we're just going in. We're going to do the straw maneuver. Like we are just about to enjoy a frosty beverage. Here we go. This is the Twisby Swipe. This clip is pretty interesting. Goes halfway around, rests in some slits there. We've got the Twisby logo. Neat, red, as usual. Let's see. Let's see how springy this thing is. Oh my god, that's tight. Yeah, that's tight. That's a tight, tight clip. But it's going to do the job. All right. Pop that off. It is a snap cap. And there we have the familiar nib that is on the Twisby Mini, Twisby Eco. And we've got a spring in here. But wait, there's also a spring out here. We've got two springs. Okay. Well, let's just, let's, let's go into this. All right. Unscrew is normal. Cool, cool, cool. And now we've got this thing happening. I know that you don't turn this. I know that you push it, but okay. There. Oh, 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 okay. Whoa. Oh my god. So if you <laughs> if you push this, if you push this and then let go, you <laughs> it, it just flies right out. Okay. <laughs> just so you know, don't do that when there's ink in there. Okay. Well, here we go. This is uh, one of the more interesting things about the pen. It's got a spring-loaded converter. So it's got your standard converter, or a somewhat standard converter, like the piston converter is something that, you know, we're used to seeing on other pens. This gasket's a unique gasket, but still, you know, it's a pretty traditional converter. This, though, is a spring-loaded push converter. No twisty-twisty here. Put it in the ink, and then suck up the ink. So that is cool, and we will be selling these separately as well. Moving on. Let's talk about this spring thing. As per the instructions that you and I read together, you are to use this spring when you use ginormo converter here. Um, I'm not going to puncture it. Well, maybe I am. We'll see. And then you put this in there for stability in all of those extreme aforementioned movements that we're going to be doing with our fountain pen. All right. I wonder if I put this in, if it'll puncture the converter. This is Brian's pen, so. All right. So we've got some added stability here. Nice pressure there. Is it going to puncture it? It's not. All right. It's not going to puncture it. It doesn't have enough strength or gusto to actually pierce 
the cartridge itself, but there we go. We've got the string, the spring just kind of chilling back there. I want to say that maybe it balances it out a little bit, but um, maybe, maybe that's just in my brain. Either way, there it is. And now we get to see at what point does it shoot off. Ah! <laughs> Okay, I think the moral of this story is don't give Drew things with springs in them because he will do dumb things. There you have it, folks. That is the Twisby Swipe. Uh, as of its launch date on July 29th, this bad boy will be selling for $26.99 at most retailers. And um, that is quite a bargain, if I do say so myself. This is a heck of a pen. This is going to be a lot of fun. And we know that the nib and the feed, this is tried and true for Twisby. It's going to write well, so no concerns there. But this is a fun pen, great entry-level pen, great giftable pen. It's got an inner cap there, I see. So this thing is not going to dry out because Twisbys just don't do that. Enjoy. Have fun. Thank you for joining me here at the Goulet Pen Company. If you want more information, check out the product page right on.